Buenos días. ¿Cómo días. Bueno, adiós. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday, April. Ah, Jesús lo ayude. Jesús lo acompañe. It is Tuesday. Oh, it is Tuesday, April 9th. It is currently 7.33 a.m. This is the earliest we've been up. Love you. Love you. Okay. Belen wakes up at like 6.50 usually to eat. And then I go to sleep until like 9.30 or 10. Today we have an appointment to get to at 10 a.m. So we have to get everyone ready and out of the house by like 9.30. So when she woke up at 6.50 today, I was like, I'm not going back to sleep. Because then I will not wake up on time to get ready and to get everybody ready. So I have my overnight curls on. Miss girl is taking a little nappy. Y Franco se despertó a las 7. So like 20 minutes ago. First things first, I'm going to get ready for the day. Mira, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Sick. ¿Qué va primero en los shakes? Ese. Y luego, ¿qué más? What's up, guys? Good morning. It's a bright new day. We got a busy day today with the kiddos. So right now, it is 821. I just got back from taking the girls to school. ¿Qué vamos a hacer, pa? Sick. Un shake. We always got to start our day with some shakes. That's been Franco's favorite word, favorite thing to do every day. Yeah. We'll make him about like three shakes a day, which is good. You know, he's getting his calcium in and see if I get some shake. We'll show you our famous shake recipe, all right? It's very complicated, but stay with us. First, a mini bullet blender. Magic bullet, not mini bullet. <laughs> And then first you put some milk then we put half a banana <laughs> oh, uh -oh. do you see how hard that was very complicated recipe milk and a banana we're out of strawberries so wait hold up creo que si hay fresas deja checo the last frozen strawberry is in this bag deja la caliente there you have it guys, very complicated recipe. Banana, a strawberry. Usually we don't do frozen strawberries because this bullet isn't, um, this bullet, this blender isn't strong enough, but it's all we have, so she's gonna have to go through it. Listo pa, plaza del recio. Tu puedes. We give it a good shake for luck. Y luego, donde esta tu vasito? Get it, Paul? And there you have it, guys. We sit down at his little table. We put on some Disney clips. Usually, he likes to see the intro of Bull. If you know, you know. He also likes to see. Oh, the Incredibles 2 scene where Jack Jack fights the raccoon. He loves that too. Get it, Mas? Okay. 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 We have a really exciting day today planned. We're gonna start off the day with going to the chiropractor, but not for me, not for Blanca, not for Franco, for actually Belen. We are doing an infant or I think newborn chiropractic session. I'm so excited, guys. I'm that type of person that is constantly popping their bones. I'm popping my fingers. I'm popping other people's fingers. I saw a TikTok because since I always pop my neck, my back, my fingers, I was like, damn, when I'm older, I'm gonna have really, really bad arthritis. I was just like, whatever, it is what it is, you know, I'm not gonna stop popping my fingers. But then I saw on TikTok, right, we get all our information from TikTok. It was like a bone doctor, whatever those are called. She was like, popping your fingers does not cause arthritis. When you pop your fingers, it's just basically releasing some gas that is built in between our joints. And so that's a myth. So I'm really happy when I heard that. So ever since then, I pop my fingers more. <laughs> This little boy can eat, like it is crazy. He surprises us. I don't know if you guys saw how much shake I put in there, how much milk specifically, but he's gonna finish it by himself. I'm not drinking any because I'm fasting every day. So this is all for him. That's just a quick snack. He'll drink the shake and then real breakfast begins, whether that be pancakes, eggs, arroz con leche, whatever it be. That's just a little pre-snack for when mom or grandma wakes up. I'm about to start getting ready for the day and you guys know that when you have kids, everything that you 
do is all about convenience whatever is the most convenient easiest for you is what you go for so recently i found this digital healthcare platform called Anurex. this platform makes it easier for you to get the expert healthcare that you deserve at every step of your journey Nurex actually offers more than 50 clinically proven dermatologist trusted treatments for acne which is what i have been on the hunt for and of course they work faster and are more effective than over-the-counter products so how this works is awesome you actually skip the in-person appointment and complete a medical consultation at any time day or night you just have to share your skin history share a few photos and then the Nurex provider licensed in your state will go ahead and review your medical history and if medical appropriate they will go ahead and prescribe a treatment for you patients get a personalized treatment plan and a full year of unlimited messaging with a Nurex dermatology expert so with Nurex you can get effective prescription strength treatment at affordable prices and the best part is that the Nurex team of dermatology experts will guide you through your skincare journey and adjust your treatments as needed so now you can use Nurex to take control of your health care at your convenience you get at-home medication delivery and support through Nurex because it's fast easy and simple so thanks to Nurex for sponsoring this video taking control of your health care starts here click the link in our description box to get started results may vary not offered in every state medications prescribed only if clinically appropriate consultation required all right guys I have my eyebrows done I'm gonna go ahead and do my quick five minute eyelash extension so I can get ready and we can head out the door on time He just likes the action parts. Alright guys, miren quien llegó. Es la mamá. ¿La quieres agarrar? Sí. Te no te va. Agárrala bien. We are ready to go. We actually just got an order in on Amazon last night. I ordered some microphones so we could try to record Belen's chiropractor appointment and see if we can hear her bones crack. I don't know. Are they even going to crack? Who knows? But I have my arroz con leche here so I don't go without eating. And we have the whole fam and we're headed out on an adventure. We made it. Active family chiropractor here in Longmont, Colorado. Let's see how well they do and let's see if they have una chantita ahí para mí también porque... Yo también ya estoy tapado y, y nomás me salen pedos. <risa> Now I'm gonna sneak under her left ear right. and under her right. And that's just checking temperature there, you got her. I'll have this printed off and we'll go over this with you okay. um, just to explain what we're looking at. On babies, we don't really do a muscle scan. They don't have a lot of the fat that's going to conduct electricity. It makes it look like their muscles are out of control. Can we move along? Let me know. And I'll explain <laughs> She it just had a blowout. Oh. <laughs> See? Diapers or grunting or slow, more constipation type problems. That's gonna be coming from that lower back. Right now, just feeling a little bit more restriction in her left hip. So I'm just gonna push here lightly, really letting her rest on it. You can see it doesn't really bother her much at all. Mm -hmm. Typically, if babies are upset, they'll calm down during adjustment, or if they're awake, they sometimes fall asleep. I'm going to shift her into a different type of adjustment here in just a moment once this lets go. And uh, that's more what we call Logan Basic. It's a technique, hits the parasympathetic nervous system. So parasympathetic is the rest and recover. It's more of a uh, relaxing adjustment. Again, with her, you're not gonna hear snap, crackle, pop. We're not twisting, we're not pushing. We're just kind of holding okay. in a, uh, contact and letting her relax mm -hmm. into it. So I'll do that Logan Basic adjustment. I'm just gonna hold right here, flip her over and then come around. Because we were looking at that right side and it was moving better, left was more restricted, I'm actually going to bring the sacral base that's at the top of the sacrum. We're going to leverage that up with a little contact under what's called the sacrotuberous ligament. So there's a ligament that connects the sacrum, which is that middle bone, ischial tuberosity, which if you think of when you sit down, people call it your sit bone. There's a ligament that connects the two and there's a nerve that runs right under there, the pelvic nerve, and that's a parasympathetic nerve. She's falling asleep. <laughs> So this is the adjustment I was talking about where they typically fall asleep. It's, it just helps them relax. Um, so especially colicky babies, we use this a lot. And then we're looking at what's called torticollis. We're having that neck rotated one way where it really doesn't want to come back the other. She seems to turn both ways very evenly. So those are all good indicators. I'm going to see how she does on a pillow here. Mm -hmm. Just a little more how it looks like. I'm gonna slide her up and I'm gonna check how her cranial sutures are doing. Okay. All the little bones are where they're supposed to be. 
it's not that we necessarily move them ourselves, but we will encourage a little bit of movement. Um, her skull is going to be very pliable still. She has a very nicely formed skull. ¿Qué le dijiste al doctor? That's a banana. Así le dijiste. All done. We made it to breakfast. We are at first watch with the fam. Sí, hola. Hola. Sí, hola, ma. Hola. <laughs> Got dad being Belen's paparazzi for usual. We're stopping by to get some breakfast because we are all freaking starving. But hopefully Belen likes her little adjustment. She's knocked out. He said that she'll probably sleep a lot more today because she's going to feel well rested. It looks so comfy that I made an appointment for tomorrow and Thursday because I guess tomorrow they only do assessment and then Thursday they'll actually do the adjustment so and then I'm gonna start coming so I can fix my posture because you know if you're a breastfeeding mom sometimes you just get Jorobada vibes We are home guys. I actually ran upstairs to put Franco down for a nap because we got home pretty late. He goes to sleep at 12 and he went to sleep at like 12.40. And I'm sleeping mama's girl. Mama's girl? <laughs> mama's girl. I was, I fell asleep with Franco but I woke up in, in a panic because I have work to get done. So hopefully I'll take a nap here in a little bit. For now, I have to work. Do? What you gotta do? Some I have stuff. an appointment at 3 so I'm resting before I go Where? to the bank. So I can't take it. It is 5 p.m. My mom just made dinner. Ahora nos hizo garbanzos y una carnita con chile, tomate y cebolla y quesadillas. Ah, jefa. ¿A quién se le antojaron los garbanzos? Pues a ti. <laughs> I'm slowly starting to eat the, the foods that are restricted. So I started eating a little bit of cebolla, a little bit of chile. Mm. So that's what we're having for dinner right now. Mm. ¿Qué pasó, amor? Acá. ¿Qué pasó ahí? Hay una aquí. ¿Te caíste? Sí. Oh, ¿Te van a poner una curita? Sí. ¿Quién es? Bravo. Bravo. Dile sí, gracias, Franco. mami. Gracias, sí, mami. Ready, listo. Ahora te tienes que concentrar en las piedras, ¿ok? Porque no te caigas. What's up, folks? It's a little bit later now. Now it's Blanca's turn. She was feeding Belen right now, and I'm outside with Frankuski. Pa, prende tu peoples. We wanted to show you what we bought the other day. I showed. If you don't follow me on TikTok, go ahead and follow me. I made a whole TikTok posting this. But look what we bought. Pasen aquí. That's right, we bought an inflatable little bouncy house for Frank. It's honestly been the best investment so far. He loves it y pues lo entretiene por muchas, muchas horas acá afuera. We were gonna buy him like one of those like wooden play sets that you see like everyone have, but then I was like, you know, he's just too... Those are a little dangerous for like his knees all day to be on his knees and like he could fall. So we're like, I saw this one at Sam. And I was like, this is perfect. He can jump and also slide. And during the summer when it gets really, really hot, we can start to wet it. So look, check it out. There you have it guys, 200 bucks at Sam's Club. We just finished playing for about an hour inside. Honestly, it's pretty fun for me too. Franco, ¿qué quieres hacer? Pone. Nombre? Sí. ¿Quieres hacer s'mores? Honestly, the way we're raising Franco, oh damn, or at least, you know, I try to is to be very like hands on with everything, whether that be making fires, making carne asada, I let, just let him try everything. I feel like kids, they get protected too much in the sense that like, oh, don't do this because te vas a lastimar or you're going to burn yourself. It's like, let them just go through it. If it's not going to kill them or severely injure them, then let them know what fire is so that when they see fire without you, God forbid they're in an emergency or, or they're just out in public without you and they don't know what fire is, they could fall into it whereas like mister over here 
ya sabe que es una lumbre, ya sabe that it gets super extremely hot if he puts these in and then he touches those. So he's only two, but he knows a lot of things already. And it's all by trial and error. Has he gotten, you know, a little bit burnt from touching the ends when he puts it in the charcoal? Maybe. Yes. Esta. ¿Está caliente? Sí. Ah, yo también hago un s'more? Sí. Ok. Ah, me ganaste. It's also very important to let your kids win. I know as a dad, we get very competitive and we want to win at every little thing, whether it's like racing or fighting or just men, you know, we want to compete at everything, but it's very important. Also, if you have like little kids and young, older kids, make sure you tell your older kids to always let the little kids win when they're this little. Obviously, you want competition once the child starts getting older. But when Franco's like five, six, I'm six, I'm not going to let him win all the time, right? Like, there's no participation trophies at the end of the day. I do want him to like at the beginning build the confidence so i let him win i let him win on fights sword fights jumping racing because he needs to know like damn i got this mira tu mano oh oye vamos a ver a belén no más ok hola ya me bañé Guys, I don't know why or how, but throughout the day, he was fine and now he's sick. He literally has a runny nose, a cough, and he, I can tell that he doesn't feel good. And we're getting him ready for bed and I'm gonna give him some medicine and suck his snot out. If you know, you know. ¿Cómo te que le hagas cuando toses? Acuérdate, siempre así. Oye, yo oye pato yo yo. Oye pato yo yo. ¿Escucha el pato we are almost done getting ready for bed, so I'm gonna give him this kid's Propolis cough syrup from Beekeepers Naturals. It's the nighttime immune elixir. I really like this. I think it does really well. So I'm gonna give him the serving size only suggests 2.5 milliliters. So Chocala. Mm. Porque eres valiente. Ok, pa, ahora sí vas a tener que ser valiente una vez más, ok. <ríe> Ándale, para sacarte todos los mocos. Todos los monchos que traes en la nariz. Mira, se te están saliendo. Se rápido. Uno más. Uno más. Ya. Yeah. ¡Oh, done! Muy valiente el señor Franco. Listo. ¿Listo para dormirte? Angelito. De mi guarda. Vaya. Mi dulce compañía. Vaya. No me desampares. Vaya. Ni de noche. No sé. Ni me. de día. Vaya. Si me desamparas. Vaya. ¿Qué será de mí? Vaya. Angelito de mi guarda. Vaya. Ruega. Vaya. Dios. Dios. Por, por mí. mí. Ah. Me. Muy bien. Por la señal de la Santa Cruz de nuestros enemigos. Lloran al Señor Dios nuestro. Nombre de Padre, Hijo, Espíritu Santo. Amén. Amén. Okay, vamos a dormirnos, papá. What's up, guys? It's much later right now. It's already 9.46 p.m. And Blanca had a great point. I feel like we do so much behind cameras that it's like, why aren't you showing? And we always get in an argument. We're like, did you show them you doing this? No, did you show them? You know, so it's like, I just finished doing the Spill the Beans ads for this coming week. You know, being an influencer is like super easy. Don't get me wrong. But we do sometimes do have to stay up till 10 p.m. filming ads. <laughs> What? How is that gonna get me canceled? I'm just saying like being an influencer is easy compared to other jobs, but like You know, we don't like we're not on Instagram like filming that at 10 p.m. with a newborn Why would that get me canceled? I'm gonna leave this in. I don't think that's what? It's just been my sister girl's like I had to work until 5 p.m. to being an influencer the day I'm just saying like people could be like I no hace nada todo el día, but it's like <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, I have a newborn and a toddler that I have to entertain all day and a wife. But yeah, I, I get what you're saying, but... <laughs> 
I don't know. It's just, you know, it's 10 p.m. We're filming ads out here. It's work. We didn't have time all day between everything you guys saw that we did and also the stuff we don't show, like tending to our kids, tending to other family needs, you know? So even tending to our dogs because they be a lot of work sometimes too, you know? And there's a lot of other stuff that we're tending to. Like I had a meeting with someone very important that we can't tell you guys yet because we don't want to jinx it. But hopefully great things are coming very soon. But it's like stuff like that that's like, hmm, if I show them, it's not like we don't want to show you guys, but it's like, I don't want to jinx stuff. So we rather like wait for the surprise, you know? So Blanca is feeding baby girl right now, or she's just finished. And she was a queen because I was my turn to hold her, but I was filming the ad. So she got up from literally left her arroz con leche and her cookies that were super nice and warm, but she had to get up to feed baby girl. And right now I'm exporting said ads to our editor. I feel like, you know how they say girls grow up faster? I think mentally and physically, cause she's huge. Like I don't think the camera does it justice because you know, I'm like buff okay. and she looks huge on me. So, you know, she's, I was about to say that. she looks big and then you hold and she looks little. Yeah, she's a big girl. She's thick boned. Oh my God. No, but we're trying to break that stereotype. I'm trying to get it all out of my, uh, vocabulary right now babe i could be a benji i'd be just talk like if i could talk without a filter i feel like i would be a benji if in shout out to benji but because i would be like i want to say like right now i'm getting out all the gorda chonchis all those words out to my daughter that she obviously doesn't understand no entiende porque cuando ya empieza a hablar o, o sepa lo que es gorda pues no le quiero decir verdad pero I, parents used to be our biggest bullies or whatever yeah. or mexican families used to be our biggest bullies in general look <laughs> when you said she's a thick girl this is what it reminds me of <laughs> yeah, Blanca right now is currently obsessed with Benji. Benji is my bestie, he just doesn't know it. I don't know, I feel like we could talk here forever, like if this was a podcast. Yeah, go watch the podcast. We we went deep, guys. We went deep into our relationship, which got kind of scary. We've had a podcast for a long ass time now, babe. Yeah, but it got scary only because you said, Jonathan literally said, Oh, I thought Blanca's attachment, what is it, like an issue, my attachment issue, <laughs> was cute because she just wanted to do everything with me. But then I was like, wait, it's low-key evil because she yeah. just wants to be with me. I'm like, damn, you're making me seem like the exorcist or something. No, it's evil because of the trauma. Not because you're evil or I think it's I'd weird. I'd say it's sad because of the trauma, not evil. What else? Should we just end this vlog updating yeah. them? Guys, I went on a run today for the first time in so long. And I don't know how I'm going to get back into running. I really don't. I think I'm going to I'm gonna go buy a new Apple Watch, first of all. Because mine doesn't work anymore and it's like five years old. I'm going to get the Apple Watch Ultra. Financiado in T-Mobile. It's like 18 bucks a month. <laughs> I'm gonna go buy new running shoes. The very first pair of running shoes I ever bought were Sacconis, but I got them directly online. And I have this theory that no shoe has ever been as good as that one that came from online, right? I've gone to different running stores, bought the same exact type of shoe, but at a running store. And my theory is that the ones that come directly from their warehouse, like wherever they make them like online they're just better because they want you to buy directly from them the next time and look at me i'm the next time i get them i'm gonna get them online because no shoe the red ones with white how long did i, I wore those to the, till the bottom the the bottom you could almost see my sock <laughs> And no shoe has been as comfy as those. Mm -hmm. I went trail running. I did a 10K in the mountains in those. I did like street races in those and they were just <sighs> chef's kiss. Street races? <laughs> like street, like concrete wow. race. So I'm gonna get officially back into running. To be honest with you, I don't know. I just have like a lot of stomach and gut problems. Like <laughs> today I tried running and like half a mile in, like I could just feel my panta like. <laughs> Like I was so bloated, I could just feel it moving up and down. You guys ever like run and you just feel your panza like, you always have the panza there and it's with you in every run, but some runs you just feel it like boom, boom, boom. I was like, you know what, like F this, I'm just gonna walk the rest of the way. So I did. So you got your steps in. But I don't know, ha have I told you guys, I already signed up for a freaking full marathon in September. You already signed up for it? Yeah. 26.2 miles, guys. I don't know why I did that, but part of the reason was Miss over here. She's to blame. I was like, I want to take a picture with my daughter and with my son at the finish line. So they're my biggest motivation. But right now, she's my biggest motivation, yet my biggest obstacle right now. <laughs> Because like, you know, we're tending to her and well, you tend to her and I tend to you. Yeah. 
Well, to so, Blanco, yeah. yeah, like then 24-7. Yeah, so right now, I literally had to tell Blanca, like, I felt really bad because I was like, oh, like, I genuinely miss Franco during the day. So I was like, babe, can you come downstairs really quick so I can go on a real quick run? She kind of distracted him really quick with Belen. And it, like, I literally left for only 30 minutes and I came back. But yeah, I have a marathon. The Boulder Boulder is coming up again. So I think Blanca might do that one with me. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, 10K. I and the end of May. Damn. Yeah. I I'll have like two weeks to prepare. Yeah. Our furniture for the podcast is on the way. So we're going to make a badass studio. My dad already kind of signed himself up to like help us remodel and anything we might need. Um, That's it.